Hello, I'm Skatsky, and this is uh, another episode of Aladdin for the Sega Genesis. Um, I haven't recorded this game in a year, but, you know, I have been actually playing this game uh, kind of on and off during the time I didn't record. And I don't really have any reason to uh, say why I didn't record, it's just because I'm lazy. And life's various pitfalls as well. Well, anyways, we're in the Cave of Wonder. We are here because we need to uh, retrieve the lamp for the old man and uh, show our thanks. We'll find it for him because he helped us escape. And anyways, this, this level is kind of annoying because there's bats. Am I getting... Am I getting hurt a lot? No. Okay. Get away from me. Now there's these statue guys. Um, when you're looking away, they'll fire their gems or whatever, but if you look directly at them, they won't do anything. The stab is really good. It has like a large hitbox for it to uh, kill these statues. Alright. This is kind of a weird part of the stage, because there's a bunch of rocks falling down. Really the only thing I can say is just swing your sword badly while you're jumping around there. Just drop down. It's probably not likely that you'll make a jump or hit the spikes. <laughs> Try not to hurt myself. <laughs> Alright. I think I have three more hits left before I die. Oh, okay. Yeah. If I die, I'm gonna lose a lot of apples. I'll be very angry. So pro. Yeah, there's really nothing to buy with jewels now. Like, the only things that you can buy are the, uh... Crap. The, uh, extra life, which is the wish and the lives. <laughs> extra continue is the, uh, wish. And, uh, lives are... Your actual lives. But, uh, anyways. Now we're done destroying the statue. And down there, uh, the wall that was there before is now gone. I guess I'll just buy some wishes, I suppose. Eh, whatever. I think I've garnered like three wishes by now. Well, for the course of this playthrough. Here's the boss on the stage. He's a giant monkey. And he breathes fire at you and swings a sword. But this guy is really easy since so you can just unlock him to death. And this is really it for the boss. I haven't been playing this game for the past few days, or actually for the past two weeks, but I think I'm gonna do really well because I'm super pro. And now we're at the, uh, now we get Carpet. I think that's what his name was, which is called Carpet, or Magic Carpet. Okay, this part is probably the weirdest part of the game, or, well, the hardest part of the stage, anyways. Because there's these, oh god, fishes. <laughs> I win! We're nearing the end of the stage. I think there's like an extra life around here. Oh, 
I don't know, I don't know where it's at. Unless I already picked it up. And here's the magic lamp. Yeah. Now off to the bonus stage. Damn it. Okay, I believe this is the uh, last bonus stage of the game. Because I can't... I remember trying to look for like another... Like continue, or not continue, but bonus icon. But didn't find any past this stage. Oh no! Oh, well. I wish I remembered. Infidels. Okay, now the giant cat cave is now mad at us. Because we've been touching treasure, well, I'll be did. And now, the cave is now trying to kill us and himself. Now, this is probably the hardest stage of the game, but it's also like one of the faster ones, or... Well, shortest ones, anyways. And it's almost kind of like a scrolling stage, because you have these boulders that, you know, come and try and kill you. That's a instant kill. Okay, jump. No! I don't know, over there there's like a little vine that you can do, or climb on. Now we're back to five apples. Which is less than ideal than I actually want for the rest of the game. Whatever. This horse can go screw themselves. Yeah, I just don't really care getting hit on the stage. Now, this is the last part. Now, it's very important. Oh god. It's very important that you jump off at the very end of the jump. If you, uh, if you jump too soon, you will die. And then you have to start the whole stage over again. Now, we're going for a magic carpet ride. Okay, for this stage, just stick to the middle, and whenever there's uh, up and down arrows, point out the direction you need to go in that direction. Now, to show like the leniency of this game, um, actually after some time, or after dying several times on this stage, uh, the game will just allow you to go just skip past the stage. Because I guess it is kind of a hard stage, because it goes really fast. Yeah, you don't have worry have you have, yeah, you don't have to worry about the uh, lava behind you. You can only move up and down. Probably like the only other appearance Genie has on the stage in his actual living floor. Yeah. Wow. 
also the uh, slices of apples that we're collecting. Um, if we collect four of them, we will uh, get one apple, which is pretty cool. It's free apples here. Question marks. We'll be spacing another two of them, and they're always going to be down, no matter what. And that's it. <sighs> yeah, we escaped. But we really didn't. Get some apples. Never mind. Huh. I guess we never escaped anymore. We're now dead. Inside the lamp. Okay. The stage is all about Robin Williams' face. This is actually like one of the core stages in the game, actually. And it's pretty fun as well. Jump on those hands to uh, maneuver across the level. And this music is loud. I kind of wish I turned on the music like last year, because that the music is pretty loud, and I like, usually like to hear myself talk, or at least hear myself talk. Need to jump across. background, you can clearly see it, Sega Genesis, and, uh, <laughs> TV. Oh god, that sounded kind of loud. I apologize. I just, like, kind of blew into the mic. I never really paid attention to the pillars at this stage. I didn't, oh, I just realized that they're, uh, Constructed by fruits. Okay. Oh god. Okay, this part is actually kind of hard. We're now getting our apples back, and we're nearing at the end of the stage now. But we have more hands to cross or jump on. No! Okay. <laughs> that little hand will always be jumpable. And there we go! We made it. Um, down there, there would actually be an extra life. Maybe it's at the very top. 
but we're at the max lives, and now let's finish the stage. And that's it for level 7, I think. And now, after this, we'll be heading into the palace, which is the second to last stage in the game. I don't exactly remember if Aladdin actually went straight to the palace after he escaped. I don't know, I don't really remember that movie too much. And I don't think, I don't think Aladdin ever used a sword either, until like the very end. Well, anyways, this is the end of this episode, and hopefully I'll be able to record the next one. And that's all. See ya.